LARPing or live action role plays when groups of people play fantasy games in real life. They go on quests, battle monsters, save the day, you know, the usual thing. Nero International, one of the largest LARPing groups in the U.S., has over 6,500 members by itself. Now you might think, oh, that's just a bunch of people playing make-believe. True, it is fake, but that doesn't mean it's not real. Think of it like the difference between Madden 2015 and flag football. Neither of them are the bona fide thing, obviously, but one is slightly more real than the other. And if you prefer swords and spells over tackles and pigskin, you might want to give it a try, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. Wish me luck. In a gaming group, you have five people that you're interacting with. In a LARP, you're interacting with hundreds of people. That social interaction with like-minded people, I think is what draws us all together. Plus, it's great to get into costume and just kind of run around the woods and hit people with foam weapons and things like that. I think it's natural for you to want to be the hero. And that's what we do. You can be the hero, or if you want to play a bad guy, you can. Just don't get caught. We have a fine selection. I mean, you have to trade if you want it. When you want to become a LARPer, first thing you got to do is make a character. Now, it's not so simple as just giving yourself a name. That's only one of several steps. You got to come up with your name, your class, your race, your skills, your spells, and of course, your costume, which also doubles as armor. After you figure out who your character is, then you have to teach them how to fight. Now, you may know how to pick up a stick or throw a bag of birdseed, but it's a lot more complicated with a lot of rules involved. So for sword, how do I use this? Now, there are several areas that I'm not allowed to strike. Your head, your hands, and your groin, for obvious reasons. <laughs> we try to go pretty slow because we're a light touch system. If I come down and I hit you in the shoulder, you know you were hit. I'm going to be dying. So tell me what happens when you die. All right. Because uh, right now I'm talking to a ghost, right? Yes. Uh, the white headband in, in the case that I'm out of game. Uh, I was beat down, and then after a minute, I died. It's a character, but it's not set. There's no scripts. Everything is different. We play different people. Like there's people that are really nice guys that come here and play bad guys. My character's not exactly known to be a nice guy, but I'm still nice. It allows me to step away from my everyday life and be the hero or be the villain or write the stories. Because you can't go slay the dragon in real life. You can't save all these people's lives and get called a hero. Well, you can in real life, but it's less common. Um, players come from all walks of life. We've had uh, priests, we've had doctors, we've had artists. I'm a construction worker for concrete and carpentry work. I'm a comic book shop owner I'm, with my wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about LARPing together as a couple? We are better at communicating in like the stressful situations. But I always know, like I can tell him right away, like I can just tap him on his back and he knows that I'm there and then we just work together pretty well in that So aspect. yeah, we might as well kill stuff together, right? Yeah. I was very shy and I didn't quite get out of my shell very much and I had self-confidence issues. Uh, I know a lot of people that have like anxiety issues and stuff like that, that when they're at LARP, it just goes away. I can go to literally any state in the US and Canada even uh, and find somebody that I've met at a Nero event. We all have fantasies we like to play out. Some, for example, play fantasy baseball or go skydiving. And others, like here, like to LARP. It may seem a little silly at times, but it's still real. <laughs> Not that real. Five normal. Got it. Yeah. Five normal. Ten magic. Five normal. 